hello. I'm Emily Anderson here with the Bridging Program, and this is our third group of this year. Riley, would you like to say the name of the group? What's your group name? The Adventurous Four. The Adventurous Four. And today, <laughs> yes, we're, we, are, we look like the Adventurous Five, but the two adventurers present today are Riley and Hannah. The artwork of Will, another adventurer, is behind the group. And our fourth adventurer is Autumn. Um, but we're here, and we're here with Travis. We're here with Julie and David Fry zooming in from North Ferrisburg, North Ferrisburg. And um, so we're here today to have kind of an informal conversation about CCTV and what it is, advocacy, dreams, artwork created at Expressive Arts Burlington with Topaz Weiss. That will be coming up. Oh, this is Autumn's piece behind us now, which I think Travis will like because it features lots of wildlife. By doing your artwork, what does it mean to you in your community? What does your artwork bring to the table with, with you? And what is... What does disability mean to you? Perfect. This is oh. Hannah's That's Hannah's so powerful. powerful soaring piece. What does your artwork? How does it express your your wishes? Hannah, would you like to share something about that? I don't understand. Okay. I don't understand. Not good. Not good. All right. Would you like to answer this, Hannah, or should we have Riley do Maybe his Maybe you don't first? want to answer right now. That's fine. <laughs> okay, and it has, has moved to Riley's piece, which is <laughs> very dramatic. Riley, tell us about this. How does this express you or your your wishes? Uh, love, my love of wildlife and horses. What's your favorite animal? Don't tell me snakes. I hate them. Nope. <laughs> is, that, is that one snake or it's is it four of them? Four. I okay. thought we counted okay, five. Yeah. Five. <laughs> looks like boas. One. Like ball pythons. Two. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, and then yeah, I see some redwoods. I mean, this looks lovely. And <laughs> the salad too. <laughs> yeah, that looks tasty. Yeah. Hungry. Right. <laughs> And then so the you horse. got a salad on there. So do you do you like food? Do you yes, I do like food very much. Do you like to work with food? Do you like to, to experiment no with food and? No way. <laughs> uh, I just like it in general. Is there is there like a go to that you have? Is salad like your go-to? Like every time you're like, oh, you're sitting at home, you're like, I could go for a salad right now. Yes, yeah, salad's my, always my go-to. <laughs> wow, cool. That's awesome. I'm working on salads this month and next month on the cooking show. You need to come on my cooking show. <laughs> Did you know David has a cooking show? No, I didn't know that. Do you want to do a little plug for your cooking show? <laughs> yeah, so... I do a cooking show through GMSA. It's every single Tuesday from uh, two to three. And we talk about food in general, or, you know, if you wanna 
watch a different thing. We're doing salads. We we did a segment on uh, fire and safety in the kitchen. I don't understand. Uh, so I it's it's a different show every every week, but it's it's cool. Oh. Cool. Well, yeah. So I don't know. I really like the question. Um, what do you do for self advocate advocacy? Because here at Town Meeting TV, we're all about accessibility and providing the people with tools to advocate for themselves, also spread their own messages and have the mm. tools to basically do it themselves. So mm. I basically want to ask y'all, how do you plan to be self-advocates or what work do you already do in self-advocacy? Cool. Riley, do you want to start us off? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, then Hannah, do you want to start us off? Oh, that was a hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> You, you guys are really <laughs> advocating over here for not advocating. <laughs> you're, not, you're students of advocacy in some senses, but you are also very good advocates because anytime you say, no, I don't think I want to do this right now, you're, you are advocating. I'm not ready. That's yeah. awesome. That's and we support that. Yeah. <laughs> and we turn it to a seasoned advocate and say, what do you want to advocate for, David? Advocate for uh, good community, uh, that we do make a difference in the community. We, we you, you know, advocacy is so important. Uh, and to be part of the table when being, when having decisions being made for us. Yeah. I've always said that, and I always believe that, is we need to be at the table. David, yeah. I love this. Uh, I have a couple questions on my hand that you said prior to us getting together, uh, starting this the tape rolling. Um, but what do you want to be known for in the community? Is, is that something you'd like to ask and then turn back to one of us over here? All of us over here, okay. some of us. So, so, so what do you want to be known for in the community? For me, I want to be known for being a great advocate. I want to be known for making a difference in someone's life with a, di with a disability and a great peer advocate and, and a great worker. Uh, you know... You've got to say to yourself that you do make a difference in this world. And that is so important. So what do you bring to the community? What would you like to be known for in your community? That's a really hard question. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I... I I have some reflection back on Riley. You know, you I've seen you be a part of the bridging community now for two years. And you used to be, I, you did it right. And from the beginning, you were a little bit shy, but we were doing something where every day there was an opportunity for announcements. And you used to say, hey, I have an announcement. I'm going to do it at the end. And so you knew I have, I have made a connection with Emily. She knows I have an announcement, so she's going to give me a space, and I'm going to get to say whatever I want to say. So you would claim your space. Even if you're a little shy, you knew once you have that space, and we quieted, and you have used that announcement opportunity in the most wonderful way to tell us of celebrations, to tell us of difficulties, to tell us of transitions. And that's been so fun. And I, I feel like, you know, now that I know you won't be at Bridging next year, I'll miss the announcer. I'll think of Riley, who's so good at announcing things. 
And I'll miss the voting on horses' names. <laughs> yeah, yes, you also created activities for us to do that brought us together as a group. So you've taken us on some journeys. I, I, you know, when I was in high school, and um, I, I feel that high school is so important especially for young people with a disability um, because I feel that high school is like you've got to pick something what I mean your years of a high school are so short and once you get out of high school I, uh, words from the wisdom here um, it's a big world out there. And so I, yeah. I hope you can find some kind of way or, or, or have a dream what you want to do when you get out of high school. Makes once you get out of high school, it's a long road ahead of you. And, um, for me, when I was on high school, I took a trade. I took culinary arts. And so I, I, um, I really worked hard on that career. And for me, I, I was at one place for 15 years. I stayed yeah. right there at yeah. where I was in high school. Yeah. And then I, I went to uh, cool. Cool. a five dining, uh five diamond resort uh at the mount washington hotel and it was there for seven and a half years uh I came there, over here. And, and, and so you know I, awesome. I i'm i'm just putting something in your your brain trying to to really concentrate what you want to do when you get out because it's yeah. it's such a long road ahead of you and if you have some kind of plan now will yeah. you get out yeah that's great and as Hannah as speaking you were... was saying a lot of enthusiastic words go girl uh, you are welcome yeah cool cool <laughs> yeah well, I know our um, bus driver is going to be coming soon to pick us up. So do we have a wonderful way to wrap up our, our uh, time together? One thing you're looking forward to this summer. <laughs> yeah. Riley, come on. You can start us off on this one. Uh, uh. Uh, hanging out with family and building Legos. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sounds cool. fun. Are you going to do a Lego set? No. <laughs> Not yet. Nope. <laughs> Hannah, what are you looking forward to this summer? Time with More time with Prince Harry? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She guys got nice. rid of the pool. There's no pool this summer. No pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. There we go. Thanks, <laughs> fame. <laughs> Thanks, fam. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, fam. You got rid of the pool. <laughs> you can do some advocacy if you want it back. <laughs> Julie, you have something you're looking forward to? Um, I'm going to visit some of my family in Maryland this summer, and I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Wait. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going, I, I don't usually do this, but I rented a cabin on a lake with my mom and her best friend, who I love it when my mom hangs out with her best friend. So we're going to have some lake time. You go, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, Hannah. David, what are you what are you up to this summer? I'm gonna do plenty of flea markets. I'm gonna really dig myself into some antiques and make some cold hard cash. <laughs> David has yeah. an antiques business. Awesome. So cool. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I asked this question. I have no plan. I'm going to just get some ice cream. Enjoy the sun. <laughs> that sounds awesome. That's, I think that's my plan for this summer. Enjoy the yeah. sun as much as possible. Nice. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, viewers. We are always happy to be here. Um, and we'll be back in one way or another. But let's sign off with a big wave. Go girl. You go girl. You go girl. <laughs> Thank you, David. See you.